Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much could depend on your location. Please join in this trouble to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Today is Tuesday, the 21st day of May 2024, bringing us updates. Police arrest traditional ruler, community leaders in Ega community after his been attack. Yes, that is what is happening. Now the Nigerian police force arrested leaders of Ega community, including the traditional ruler, Igwe Abad Okuta and first to Sokongwe, former councillor. Yes. Now, this incident happened before the launching of the attack or the invasion of the combined, by the combined team of the army and the police. Yes. In Ega community that saw the looting and the burning of houses, looting of properties of the locals. Yes. That is what is happening there now. Of course, it was gathered that no fewer than 18 houses were completely destroyed. Over, over 30 motorcycles burnt and about 15 vehicles were equally burnt. While valuable properties were looted by the invading force. Yes, the combined team of the army and the police invaded the Ega community. Yes, last week Tuesday. All right. Now... Igwekuta was arrested on Saturday, 4th of May, 2024, after he was invited to the police state headquarters, following a clash in the community's farm settlement, yes, known as Sites, located at 15 kilometers from the town. Yes, of course, during the clash, two policemen were, two policemen were killed. Yes. All right. So, following the attack, the police and other security agents mobilized, returned to the community and raised down the entire settlement. Yes, that initial one, not the one that happened last week Tuesday. Yes. Now, the traditional ruler was consequently invited to the state police headquarters on arrival to, to honor the invitation by the commissioner of police, Mr. Kano Yuzebu. He was detained and has remained in detention to death. While in detention, Governor Peter Mba visited the community a few days later and told members of the community not to panic. He urged everybody to return to their businesses. Now, the sources said the former council of the community, Fetu Sokonko, spoke on behalf of the community during the governor's visit. Unfortunately, after the governor left, he was summoned at the police headquarters and on arrival, he was also detained to death. So many other community leaders were also detained. That's what the committee members are saying. Now they said after they ensured that the community leaders had been arrested and detained, the police and Nigerian army mobilized and returned to the community and burnt five houses. Yes. On Tuesday, that was on Saturday. Now on Tuesday, May 14, they came back with armored vehicles and five trucks, load of soldiers and began to burn the community on large scale. They say at the end of this thing, of this uh, invasion, like I've said, 18 choice houses, 18 choice houses, 30 motorcycles, okay, over 10 vehicles, numerous properties, worth millions of naira. That's what this uh, committee members are saying. All right. Now, this is what is happening in Ega community. Yes. The traditional ruler has been detained by the police. And the former councillor, as well as other community leaders, for the invasion by the Fulani. Fulani will be attacking the community. The police and the governor will be arresting members of the community. Yes, that is what is happening. Now, the councillor spoke during the visit of the governor. After he spoke, the governor left, the man was arrested. He was invited to the police headquarters in. Enugu city and he was detained till death. So that was on the instruction of the governor, right? Yes. Because the governor he spoke during the governor's visit and he was arrested. Maybe he said something that the governor did not like. Of course, what else we, 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 you know will he say? Yes. He said something that the governor did not like. Probably you know, exposing the full and the terrorists. Yes. 
That is it. What the the menace of the flood terrorists? What they are doing in, in his community and other locations in Enugu. Yes, that was why he was arrested. He was detained. He was being punished. He's being punished. That is it. So uh, governor is uh, no, shelling the Fulani henchmen, protecting them. That's what it means. Because people will not shake body again. They will not say anything. They will not uh, you know, be free to air their views. Whereas they have a governor who is their own brother. In incident like this, something like this happened. So people will not be free to air their views and say what they have in mind. Now the young man said what he has in mind has been arrested by a governor of his state, of Enugu state, not governor of, you know, Sokoto or Zanfara, Castina, no, Enugu state governor. And the issue at hand is that of the Fulani Hirschman. And he was arrested. Meaning people should not say anything again. People should quiet. If something like this happened, you know, they will not say anything. Because that is what it means. This man made his own free speech about what happened in his community. They got him arrested. And the governor knows about it. This is wrong. This is wrong. You've seen it. So what are we not talking about? This is it. They are promoting these full and activities. With the actions and in their, their inactions. They are promoting them. Tomorrow they say full and this. These people are promoting the people in power. Like this same governor. Promoting Fulani Hesman. Yes. That's why they are coming. They are large numbers. Attacking people. You have seen what governor have done. So if this man. Talking about the traditional ruler. And the, the councillor. And other leaders. That has been arrested. If it is not on the order. If it wasn't wasn't on the order of the governor for the arrest, then they should be released. Let the governor ask for their release. If he is not the one that instructed for the arrest, yes, because the councillor spoke during the visit of the governor, he was arrested. Yes, so let the governor go for their release. Let him tell the police to release them. If they were not arrested on his own directive. Yes. So that is what is happening. This eager community, not just eager community, any good people, they are suffering. Their former governor was there. You know, when he was a governor, he was a crying governor. You go to their scene, we have learning history, attack communities, you start crying, feeling tears. He wouldn't do anything, he wouldn't take action. And this one is in full support of learning history. The current government is support, not just, it's not crying for anything, it's in support.